Imagine looking up at the sky and the sun, our familiar golden sphere, beginning to swell, its color changing to a deep orange and then a menacing blood red. This isn't an event far in the future, it's happening now. Within hours, Mercury and Venus, our closest neighbors, would be the first to be devoured, disappearing forever in the fiery embrace of the dying star. On Earth, the apocalypse would begin with unbearable heat that would turn lethal within minutes. The entire world's oceans would boil, curling a steamy atmosphere into space that would be swept away by the solar wind, stripping our planet of its protective shield. The Earth's surface would become an ocean of lava at over 2,000 degrees, erasing any trace of our civilization. Our planet would be engulfed by the sun's atmosphere or, at best, would remain a charred, lifeless rock orbiting dangerously close to the red giant. But the story doesn't end there. While life on Earth dies out, at the farthest reaches of the solar system, a paradoxical rebirth would begin. Mars would lose its polar ice caps, creating ephemeral rivers and seas. The icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, such as Europa and Enceladus, would for the first time receive enough heat to completely melt their icy crusts, releasing their vast subterranean oceans to the surface. For a brief period of cosmic time, the habitable zone would have shifted to these new water worlds, which could become cradles for a new form of life. At the end of it all, after millions of years of expansion, the sun would expel its outer layers in a beautiful and ephemeral planetary nebula, and its core would collapse into a white dwarf, a stellar corpse the size of Earth, faintly illuminating the remnants of its former realm and the possible new oceans of its distant moons.